Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a freedom quilt. The first thing I'm going to do is on the top I take one finger, put a dot, on the bottom one finger, put a dot, on the left one finger, put a dot, and on the right one finger, put a dot. From each of these dots I'm going to draw a straight line down because I'm going to make a frame. So I go down and up and over, connect, and over again, and up, connect, down, and I always leave myself a little bit of leeway, over, connect, over, connect. So there's my frame. At each one of the corners I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal out to each one of my corners and there's my frame. Now what you have to remember is in slavery time there was no reading and writing for African Americans. You could be put to death if you taught an African American how to read and write. So instead they had to depend on their artwork to get out messages. The most important symbol, because this is all on symbols, is put a dot in the upper right hand corner and we're going to go straight line up, down, out, in, out, in, in a circle, out, in, out, in, out, in, one more, connect. This is the North Star. And basically your whole entire quilt is a map. So if you're going to start to look for your way to freedom, you're going to look for the North Star which then means down here on the bottom left is the deep south. And right here in the bottom left I'm going to draw a pretty good sized rectangle. Come back in, draw a skinny triangle. I draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. In the center, I'm going to draw a straight line, curved line, straight line down, straight line in the middle, one dot, two dots. I'm going to add another straight line on the right, another straight line on the left. Come on the outside, straight line on the left, straight line down on the right. And if you have room, you can add one more skinny rectangle at the bottom. All right, this symbolizes the um, big house. This is where the master would live. So right above that, I'm going to draw some curved lines, connect, straight line down, straight line over, and up, connect. And these are symbols for trees. Straight line, straight line, up, connect, one more straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And then to the right of that I'm going to draw some more curved lines, straight line out, over, up, straight curved lines, and then straight lines out, over, and up. So the big house now is being framed by these trees. Right above the trees I'm going to draw straight lines and these are going to represent the fields that everybody in the slave plantation would work. So we'll put some fields over there. And then right above on the left side I'm going to draw one, two, three squares and on top I'm just going to add a triangle and inside I'm going to put a little straight line, straight line connect for the doors. These are the slave quarters. This is where the slaves would live. Above that I'm going to draw another series of straight lines. This represents another field. So basically what we're doing is drawing a map on how to leave 
from the big house and find the North Star. Right underneath, in between my fields, on the right, I'm going to draw another box. I'm going to draw straight line, little straight line, straight line down. And on top of this, I'm going to draw a cross because this is a church. Now, if you can get from the big house, through the trees, past the slave cabins, by the fields, and you don't know where you are, you're going to use the church as a uh, landmark. Now I come back up and on the left hand side I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line out and a slight diagonal up. Come back to the left, draw a straight line connect, little straight line, straight line connect and this is a boat because that's what I have to do. I have to find a boat and this is the river so I'm just doing curved lines, curved lines, curved lines, and that is how I finally get to the North Star. I'm going to take my boat and leave and follow the river up to the North Star. Now the reason why this was very important was because all of this is drawn. So if you got stopped on the way of trying to escape, all this looks like is a blanket instead of a map to freedom. Now once I've finished all of my drawing, I take a, I'm going to do a little dotted line all the way on the inside frame because I want it to look like a quilt. So I do a little dotted line wherever I have room. And then, if I can, I can add little dotted lines to kind of break up my pictures on the inside. If you have room. If you don't, it's fine. Okay. Let's see how we're going to color this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color my North Star and my little cross here yellow. I'm going to do my boat brown. I'm going to do one set of fields brown. But I'm going to do the second set green. Let's see these have already grown. My trees will be green. My slave cabins are going to be brown. Not a real colorful qu quilt. My tree trunks are brown. I'm going to leave my big house white. I'm going to leave my church white. I'm going to come in and use blue just as a line for my water. And I'm going to unify everything with a background color. This is important. You want your quilt to have all the same color behind every strip and picture. So this is important even though it might take you a while to get around all these little pictures, symbols. Then, the one part you can kind of have a little pop of color is by doing your side panels of your framing with some color. Okay? Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my freedom quilt, all colored in. Like I said before, it's mostly symbols representing maps in order to get from the deep south down here with the big house all the way up to the North Star. Okay, bye-bye.